ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಟಿ ಎಂ ಎ ಪೈ ಫೌಂಡೇಶನ್ನ ಘಟಕವಾಗಿರುವ ಮಾಹೆ ಮಣಿಪಾಲದ ಅಂಗ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯಾಗಿರುವ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಯುಪ್ ಗ್ರಾಜ್ಯುಯೇಟ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೋಟೆಲ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಇದರ ವಿನೂತನ ಭಾರತೀಯ ಪಾಕ ಮತ್ತು ಆಹಾರ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿಯ ಕೇಂದ್ರವನ್ನು ಅಂತಾರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೀಯ ಖ್ಯಾತಿಯ ಪಾಕ ಪ್ರವೀಣ ಮತ್ತು ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಹಳೆ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ಚೆಫ್ ವಿಕಾಸ್ ಖನ್ನಾ ಉದ್ಘಾಟಿಸಿದರು ಭಾರತೀಯ ಪಾಕ ಪದ್ಧತಿ ಮತ್ತು ಆಹಾರ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿಯ ಕೇಂದ್ರವು ಭಾರತೀಯ ಆಹಾರ ಇತಿಹಾಸ ಮತ್ತು ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿಯ ನಡುವಿನ ಆಳವಾದ ಸಂಬಂಧದ ಅರಿವನ್ನು ಮೂಡಿಸುವ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನವನ್ನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ವಾಗ್ಭವು ಭಾರತೀಯ ಪಾಕ ಪದ್ಧತಿಯ ಇತಿಹಾಸ ನೂರಾರು ವರ್ಷಗಳಿಂದ ಸಾಗಿ ಬಂದ ಕ್ರಮವನ್ನು ನಿರೂಪಿಸುವುದರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ತಾಜಾ ಕೃಷಿ ಉತ್ಪನ್ನಗಳ ಬಳಕೆ ಮತ್ತು ಭಾರತೀಯ ಪಾಕಶಾಲೆಯ ಹಿಂದೆ ಇರುವ ವೈಜ್ಞಾನಿಕತೆಯ ಕುರಿತು ಗಮನಹರಿಸುವುದರ ಮೂಲಕ ಪಾಕ ಪದ್ಧತಿಯ ಶ್ರೀಮಂತ ಇತಿಹಾಸದ ಕುರಿತು ಯುವ ಸಮುದಾಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಅರಿವು ಮೂಡಿಸುವಂತಹ ಕಾರ್ಯವನ್ನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ತಿಳಿಸಿದರು ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಪ್ರಾಂಶುಪಾಲ ಚೆಫ್ ಕೆ ತಿರುಜ್ಞ ಸಂಬಂಧಂ ಈ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾತನಾಡಿದರು ಏನು ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಹೆ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟ್ನ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟಿಯಾಗಿರುವ ವಾಸಂತಿ ಆರ್ ಪೈ ಸಹ ಕುಲಪತಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ನಾರಾಯಣ್ ಸಭಾಹಿತ್ ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಗಿರಿಧರ್ ಕಿಣಿ ಮೊದಲಾದವರು ಉಪಸ್ಥಿತರಿದ್ರು to learn cooking to understand what the discipline of food is to also understand the kitchens they gave me opportunity to train with some of the best hotels in india and i'm i owe my whole career to them and i have never shied away from saying that this is the place where it all started for me and dr pai has been one of the pillars of my foundation and i feel that he is like a father figure to me who i know that he's blessed me to represent india and every time i'm doing something i feel that i hope he understands that how much he means to me and for me to get admission here was like and for them to embrace me as a family member and chef tiru and whole faculty of aksha and now this in center for indian cuisine and food culture this is for celebration and preservation of indian cuisine if our generation did not showcase to the world what india stands for history of food stands for we will not be successful globally so chef thank you so much ma'am really thank you india's education thank you sir we appreciate your kind words your heartfelt kind words Graduate School of Hotel Administration solemnly pledge to protect, preserve, and promote the rich and diverse heritage of Indian cuisine and food culture. Please be aware that the Brahmin will be a guest chef. Yes, sir. Ita apna kamal ne sang de. We will endeavor to learn, appreciate, and educate ourselves about the philosophy, history, cooking techniques, and regional variations of Indian cuisines to deepen our appreciation and understanding of it. Yes, sir. We will promote the use of locally produced sustainable and organic ingredients to ensure the continued accessibility of authentic flavors for our future generation. Yes, sir. We will take educational initiatives to promote the art of Indian cooking and culture, passing down the knowledge for generations to come. Yes, sir. <coughs> We will embrace the diversity of Indian cuisine and food culture recognizing and respecting its unique flavors and traditions of different regions. Yes sir. We will commit to upholding its pledge honoring the magnificence of Indian cuisine and food culture and sharing its beauty with the world. Yes sir. Dear sir, uh, whether you are going to specialize Indian within micro macro community or a tribal or anything it could be so you have a handful of opportunity he is coming out with a one of its kind of indian restaurant in new york 2024 it will be but as you know that i am a graduate of aksha i i was here between 91 and 94 aur jo meri umar ke hum ko pata hai ke 
this entire place is totally changed. It doesn't look like anything but we were here. I think and I'm proud that a college is rated amongst the three best cooking colleges, hospitality colleges in the world. And I'm very proud of that. And I can't wait to be walking step by step with Chef Tito's leadership and do everything in our power to make this as the world's best cooking institute, the culinary institute. That is our dream. And we dreamt this almost like 2011. 2011, I met Chef and I said, Chef, our college has to be not number two, not number three in the world. And that time it was not even rated among the top ten. And now constantly by international media and domestic media, it's the world's one of the best culinary colleges. And if you guys have seen or taken a tour of the cooking courses and the classes here, they are better than most of the American or the French cooking schools in the world. And I don't say it because this college is mine, I say it because I feel that the standard of this college is to the next level. I am very happy that this is not a college in Karnataka, but not a because not to work on this day. You have to have this magnitude and vision. This was the first time this happened and we are very proud of this. This cooking course which we are launching is to in preservation and celebration of Indian cuisine. You will see a lot of the ways in the new coming years how we will preserve cuisines from states, tribes, regions, religions, and I feel that that's very important that we do that because for our next generation, it is very important that we document everything. And I think when I'm talking to so many students, to the thousands of students this morning, I feel that the next Michelin star chef for India will produce will come from this college and will come from Manipur. Guarantee the query, yes, it does. May not in the right direction. So, uh, when I used to study in um, Manipal, I used to live in Udupi because the hostel was a big deal and there was no capacity for the hostel. And all the people were very good and the rest were very good. We are going back, we don't want to go to this course, we don't want to go to Udupi because Manipal was so happening, you know, all the international students and everything. So, we were put up in a hotel in Katsanka and that is where enough and that is when I fell in love with the uh, Odupi. So we were in Kalsanka and we used to take a bus. So I think 25 paise ki bus thi ho. Line ki line. And we used to come to Manipal. And all the nine students, when they used to attend the college, they were always upset. And we are not doing it. And I started, and you know, the walking distance from Karkala is, uh, from uh, Kalsanka is Krishna temple. And from there, I started discovering Odupi cuisine. And my Guruji, he, who taught me how to paint and sculpt, and his wife taught me how to cook, cook the Brahmin Odupi cuisine, was right there. And that is how I met them. They were next to my hotel where I lived as a hostel. So for me, Odupi is a blessing. And I feel that the reason I stayed in Manipal was because of Odupi. Because I fell in love with Odupi. I stay back. Projects you are so our my biggest project in college in money in India is this museum. The way we preserve so many utensils. Today also we're going to add 13 new items to the museum, and we also got a very emotional item, which is my grandmother's chimta, which is uh, going to be given handed over to Chef Tiru because she used to cook with that. So I think. Then being in my restaurants or being in my office or home in New York, I think it's more important that it is in the museum. And thanks to the man sitting next to me. I, I can call him at 4 a.m. in the morning and he can call me at 4 a.m. in the morning when we need some help or we need advice. So I feel that this partnership between a past student, alumni, and the college administration and Dr. Pai has been very, very amazing. And this has become an international example that how students should be able to participate back home in the colleges. Totally different. This building is all new. And I don't know, people who were here before that, they will tell me that there was literally nothing here. There was a management MBA, which was very small um, near the Tiger Circle. It was our college. This was just one building. And then we had KMC was a big team. Unki be four buildings he Our MRT was always a big campus. But there was nothing cultural. There was only two places to eat here. 
एंड दैट्स इट कुछ नहीं मिलता था एक थी डैडीज बार थी कोई बिग डैडी वहां पे शराब पीने जाता था वो दैट्स ऑल बिग बॉस बिग बॉस बट आई वाज अ टी टोटलर सो बट वी आई नो दैट एग्जैक्टली व्हाट यू इज बट टोटली चेंज आई आल्सो सी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दिस कॉलेज इज बिकम अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एग्जांपल फॉर अदर इंडियन कॉलेजेस टू फॉलो दिस फॉर्मेट this is asia's largest uh, new building with all the consolidated put together we are 130000 square feet asia's largest infrastructure as well as faculty we have 75 full time faculty i don't think in asia any hotel management or culinary school we have full time 75 faculty members and uh, the the feather added on the cap uh, chef vikas has endowed the museum which is one of its kind in the world and uh, the, we are more and more we are trying to bring in for the future generations to you know uh, understand what is our culture how it was so basically as he mentioned it's a celebration and preservation of indian cuisine and culture so uh, i think uh, government of india to recognize it you know it's a time to recognize chef vikas for you know highest one of the highest civilian award because the work which he has done for indian to see and even if you pandemic if you see that feed india remotely sitting in new york he used to call me and i was a you know person who was coordinating with him for to distribute grocery in and around the orphanage here so this is one part which i have experienced but similarly if you look at the pan india if somebody has to drive remotely and from you know sitting in america convincing people to do that work that is what he can do i think we all have to give shout to indian government to you know <laughs> to give one of the highest civilian award i think i, I you know uh, not because of his or alumni because he is a chef fraternity and he has done so much for country you know evenly i don't know how many of you have seen that new york uh, you know which indian can have guts to take 1000 kg konak wheel which such a traffic you know those traffic sir you know calculated using the light sensor heat sensor how many people are moving that kind of security system but he the person who managed to get put it in the middle of new york times square and calling eminent people it is for the country i think uh, i don't know how many yeah, chefs have that. taken that uh, you know initiative and uh, you know whenever we have a conversation he always talks about even this morning is talking to our student um, aspiring students should take indian cuisine you know as a career 